Hi, I'm Pam and I'm here to talk about retro video games. Today I'm looking at the most rare game on the Sega CD. It's a rather goofy shoot 'em up about a girl and her dragon. It's KO Flying Squadron. One night, a flying wooden ship appeared suddenly from the sky and attacked. <laughs> Dr. Pwn who had attacked and stolen the key to the secret treasure. Good work. At last, this key is mine. And I wasn't there to stop them. I hate this. Hyper cutie bunny chase! KO Flying Squadron was developed by Victor Entertainment and released for the Sega CD in 1994. It's a horizontally scrolling shoot 'em up where you play a young girl named Rami who guards the key to a sacred holy object and has to ride her dragon spot into battle when the key is stolen by a nefarious tanuki. Yes, the villain in this game is a giant raccoon, and our protagonist dresses up in a bunny suit in order to pursue him. KO is a rather average shoot 'em up. The controls are straightforward. A switches your movement speed between slow and fast, B is your main attack. The one thing that sets it apart is that throughout the levels you have two smaller dragons who fly alongside you and assist you by shooting straight ahead. Pressing C will fire these dragons at your enemies in a spread shot. In order for them to respawn, you need to stop shooting for a few seconds. There are only two different main attacks, a forward shot and a multi-directional one. By picking up power-ups for the shot you're currently using, you can make it more powerful up to a certain level. There are also sub-weapons that Rami can use. These are bombs thrown at the ground, explosive throwing stars, and spot juniors which auto-target nearby enemies. While KO's gameplay is quite average, what makes it stand out is its bright color palette, catchy music, and interesting visuals. As you go through the game's seven levels, you'll find yourself up against fearsome enemies like flying puppies, pigs, and cats. There are mini bosses throughout, and at the end of each level, you'll fight one of the seven gods of fortune. These bosses usually have multiple parts and can take a bit to take down. The game has a lot of cutscenes. It begins with a long introduction to the history of the game world and its political climate. I had to edit this way down for the video intro as it lasted more than five minutes. It also doesn't have a ton to do with the actual gameplay. Between each level, there's also a little anime style scene. This game is full of oddities that raise a number of questions like what does the stolen artifact do? Why is Rami in a bunny suit? And are those dragon testicles on my screen? Hey, One level you'll be battling furry animals and the next you're taking on the American Navy's flying ships in one of the most annoying fights of the game. Apparently, Americans are all obnoxious pipe-smoking men in top hats. I found KO rather tough because of the length of the levels. It was hard to get through some of them with limited amounts of lives. 
There are also limited continues based on your chosen difficulty. You get six continues on easy and only three on normal or hard. Unfortunately, you aren't told how many continues you have left at any point in the game. There are also some annoying bits that you need to memorize in order to avoid, like enemies unexpectedly falling on your head or coming from behind you. These aren't really things that you can react to, you just need to be in the correct spot to begin with. Despite its rarity and the value it carries now, KO Flying Squadron is rather average. Don't get me wrong, I did have fun playing it, but this is a genre where there are a number of powerhouses, and other than the visuals and sounds, KO just doesn't stand out. Uh, as I said, this is the most rare game on the Sega CD, and the price has really spiked over the past year. If you're looking to pick up a copy, it's currently price charting for over $700 American. You hate this. Hey, Spot, we gotta go. Spot? Are you still sleeping? Wake up! <laughs> That's it for today. Likes, shares, and subscribes are always appreciated. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.